Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here. Anyway, um, so the other day or so, I got a. I made a post up on how to make a forum from scratch, but I didn't really go into much detail, so um, I, w I felt like I should um, do some more details with uh, forum making, right? Making your own custom forums. So uh, I actually didn't get to do this on my um, binary approach one form, or rather I partially did this, but didn't fully do this. Um, but uh, uh, to save server time, um, I I don't I don't uh, see many sites doing this though. But um, to save server time, you can just transfer over the VB code farzing to the client side and make JavaScript do all the work. So that's what I'm going to do here, right? You can just make a uh, their browser um, do all the work when you load the page, whatever, right? It'll save a lot of processing time, right? Especially if you're limited with your server resources, and it'll make um, you know hacks, hack attempts on your server a bit more difficult to do, right? And whatever. So I'm just going to start off by making some documents, and I'm going to call this. Um, DB code parser or something, right? I'm gonna just create a test environment here. Um, first, I'm just gonna start by making a script here. Now, there's a couple ways of doing this. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna use put the data in a variable or not even. Yeah, I'll just put it in a variable for now. You can do this however you want, right? So um, variable um, post was say I'm going to use the bold right. So uh, you're going to need to remove the lines and replace them with uh, that earlier on because um, of JavaScript's limitation. But you know that's just you know it doesn't take much time to do that on the server side. Uh, okay, and uh, if you're well. I wouldn't trust JavaScript to do that for you. So for JavaScript, you'll have to parse out the um, these right quotes, the single quotation marks, um, double quotation marks. You should be able to get away with not parsing them out. But you'll probably do that when you enter it into uh, MySQL. Anyway, um, bold text. Right. So first of all, I'm just going to create um, an array here. I'm going to do this sort of like PHP. So um, variable regex find right this new array. Right and new regular expression. Now there's something you should know. Um, you can do it all like with standard slashes outside of the quotations, but I'm just going to use quotations. And um, when you're using the single quotes or double quotes or whatever, um, just be aware that uh, JavaScript adds in these two slashes, so you don't need them. And when you're ex escaping something, you have to use two slashes because of how strings work in JavaScript, right? Or two backslashes, right? Um, right now it's um, escaping the single quotation mark. Now it's escaping the backslash, right? So the output for that would just be one backslash. So I'm just going to put in the tags here, and in the middle, like this. Oops. If you want, you can do each tag individually, but um, I think it would just be faster to do it this way because of how JavaScript is set up. So just escape everything. And if you need a reference for the whole regular expressions, you can just uh, go in MSDN and search for regular expression syntax. Um, I believe uh, you can also find this on other websites, but I'm just using MSDN because um, I have no internet right now because my, uh, you know, my parents. Anyway, <coughs> put in your regular expressions in the array. Put the 
placements and another array, right? Just like in if you were to do this in PHP, just the, the syntax is slightly different, and everything works, you know, slightly different. Okay. Whoops, it should be that. Expression. Oh, and I forgot to put in modifier. G is to do all of them, right? If you don't put in the G, it will only replace the first one. And the I is to make it case insensitive, right? So, uh, let's pull, right? Sorry. I was oh. Then you just gotta output it, right? So I'm just gonna create another function here, a function called um, handle the code or something like that. Or even just fire it. So we'll just say um, input, right? And then um, we'll just say, I'm going to create another variable here called variable regex length or len and do um, regex find out the length. So uh, just put it through a for loop for our i equals 0, i is less than regex len i plus plus. And the whole point of putting the length in a variable is to make it go much faster. It saves a couple milliseconds, but every you know millisecond counts, especially if someone has a massive um, post or whatever, right? So um, just try to be as efficient as possible. That's um, my main programming philosophy, you could say anyway. Um, input equals input replace. And we just loop through all of them. Whoops, whoops sorry, fine. And reg x replace. Right, which stands for replacement. Right, and then. In this case, I'm just going to use document dot write um, input. Now you got to be careful with this. Um, you're probably going to need to uh, fire out all of the HTML to prevent HTML injections. And I'll show you how someone can inject something in if you don't do that. Right? It it's a stand. You got to have the same. Um, security as PHP, as you'd normally put in with PHP, uh, but just, uh, you know, put it all in JavaScript, right, and plus a little additional bit. So I'm just going to take this, and if you want to be really efficient, you don't even need the variable, but I'm going to use one in, in this case, and it'll be the code host. There you go, so there you go, you got your bold text, and not bold, right? Your own little JavaScript um, BB code parser or whatever. I'm just going to quickly add one for URL, right? You know, just to uh, show how... Um, whatever. I'll show you in a sec. You can probably still um, do HTML injections, right? You know, just whatever. But I'm just going to do it a fancy way, as um, if you were to do this with uh, PHP or whatever, you know, so if you had some sort of shitty security on it. So we go A if rules. So uh, sometimes they'll actually, um, they won't parse out the URL for some odd reason, right? Um, and whatever, right? I'm just going to do 
this URL here. So And you might want to be careful with the whole HTTP thing because you can also do um, JavaScript, right? And you can get a vulnerability through there, right? Low. Okay, whatever. I don't know what the hell is going on. Or whatever. Should be working. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, my bad. There we go. So there you go. You got JavaScript injection there, right? So you got to be careful with this. So you can change this to um, HTTP. And the main trick to uh, regular expressions is to pretty much just memorize all of the spe uh, special characters. Most of them will just be here in the first little half here. And um, if you have them in your um, in whatever you're trying to find or whatever, you have to escape them. That's pretty much it. Um, should work, I think. Right? And it doesn't work. But if you put HTTP. That's pretty much it. Um, you know, got to be aware of HTML injections because um, right now, you know, you can just put in plain old HTML and you can again use JavaScript or whatever, right, to um, fence that whole thing. Okay, w I don't know what that. Oh wait, wait. I know why. Because we're using document dot write. Should show up here, I think. Okay, I guess it's not showing up. But um because you're using document dot write, um you can't actually do an injection that way. I guess it's sorta of handy. But anyway, you can still use HTML. So a quick way to get rid of it is just to, um, uh, for at the very start, right, just do new right, expression. Or you don't even need to use regular expressions, but because it's JavaScript, the less, um, you know, the less uh, about uh, the shorter your array of finds or whatever faster it will be so unfortunately you have to use regular expression if you want to be as fast as you can um, normally you wouldn't be doing this because regular expressions take a whole lot of time um, anyway uh, just go uh, I believe you gotta escape those parts can't don't see it so that's not and because uh, they're not really case sensitive or whatever, right? No other case for them. Just go nothing. Uh, like that. There we go. Only problem is with your um, new line here. So you can solve that, you just go and put that in the tag, make yourself an extra tag, and, I don't know, maybe put it at the end or something, right? And you also have to be careful with using this. This is just a lazy way, um, best way to do it is just check for, um, you know, words and whatever.
I am just horrible today with this JavaScript syntax crap. Alright, well, there you go. Anyway, that's it. Um, come check out my blog at hotnoob.com, and I'll see you guys later.